Hey planner friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is the Man with the Plans. And we are back to do a little review. My thoughts on the the Bloom Daily Planners. This is from August 2019 to July 2020. So this is the yearly planner. And then at Go Wild, I also ended up receiving a Blue Ox Daily Planner for 2019. So we're clearly halfway through. I think this is more geared towards like men. But anyway, we'll walk through both side by side and I'll give you my thoughts on sort of everything in general. Let's set this one aside to start with. First off, this was included in our swag bag at Go Wild, and so I ended up getting a really fun one with some nice florals here. Not necessarily my speed, but I thought this planner might be fun to walk through and see all of the contents and what's different and how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk through this, and then we'll, we'll quickly walk through the Blue Ox planner, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. So let's go ahead and dive in. So you've got this fun, sturdy cover here. This is similar to like the Lux ones from Erin Condren. They're not interchangeable. And then you've got this lovely gold coil. And we'll flip this over. I do like how it's got the um, the metal edges here. So I feel like it's a little sturdy and you can't get your corners bent, which is always nice. I feel like that happens sometimes with notebooks. But then, so you open this up and it sits pretty nicely. And then it has this 2019 yearly view. And it has from January all the way through December. And then over here, it's got some basic stuff about how will you bloom this year. We believe in the value of a personal mission statement. It helps guide our daily decisions and reminds us of what really matters. Create your mission statement for your ideal year. I love this. I think goal setting and all of that type of stuff is something that we should do more of. And I love that the planner is helping you do that. So already, big fan of that. So tell me down below what your mission statement for your ideal year would be. I'd love to hear it. So then, let's go ahead and look through here. There's a little letter from the founders who were actually at Go Wild. They were on a panel, which was really cool to hear them talk. But again, here we've got our National Important Dates, National Planner Day, August 1st. So get ready for that, we'll have a little celebration. But it's got all the important things here that you need in terms of holidays, but also stuff like income taxes due, and then the ever important Cinco de Mayo for your margarita fix. And then over here, we have this page says bloom, and it's bloom, a verb, to grow or flourish with youth and vigor, to shine or glow. So I love a good definition. I put them on all sorts of stuff. I'm sure you've seen that. Um, I have a link to my health and fitness planner, and I have a little word of the month in there. So anyway, what it says over here is top five goals for the year, things to look forward to, new things to try, books I would like to read, places to visit with something to check off, things to improve upon, things to be grateful for. And so as you can tell, the theme here is peach, but also I do love how this is so centered on like self-improvement and progress. Really, really fun to see how sort of committed they are to helping you set yourself up for success. And so then over here we have goal tracking, and so you put the goal over here that you wrote out over here, and it says good goals are smart, specific, measurable, action, achievable, relevant, and timely. So they give an example, which I think is also helpful too, because I've been guilty of this before, where I'll say, I wanna work out more, but really what I should have wrote was, attend two gym classes per week over the next three months. So that's helpful. And then they spell out the word bloom here, and it says be, be inspired. What is your inspiration for accomplishing this goal? Why is it important to you? How will it improve your life? The next one is love yourself. You will never go higher than you, You'll never go higher than you think. List all the reasons why you are 100% capable of achieving this goal for yourself, followed by outline your vision. What is the timeline for achieving this goal? What's the plan of attack? What will you do to course correct if you get off track? Be specific. The next one is organize priorities. What is the step, first step in preparing for this goal? What other items might have to take a back seat while you're working towards this new goal? And then M is make it happen. What plans and check-ins can you put into your planner to keep yourself accountable? Who can you share this goal with as an accountability partner? I love that whole accountability partner stuff. I think it's really, really helpful. But I love that this is sort of like committing you to all of these things. And so it says here at the bottom, let me zoom you guys in, you probably can't really see this. Ha! So it says, I am I'm making a commitment to myself to complete this goal by, insert date, and I can do it. Signed, owner of the planner, and then there's a completed check and a date. So really, really fun. Let's zoom you guys back out so you can see a little bit more of this. I'm just loving how adorable this whole thing is. So it says 2019, 2020, the year of more and less. This is fun, I love this, right? Do more of self-care, working out, eating right. Do less of worrying about yourself, being upset, stressing out. All those things you can make a list. And then they have 2019, 2020 visions. 
And so this is a vision board. Oh, this is cool. So you can add all sorts of stuff and cut them out. Big fan of this. That's really cute. And then over here, we have a weekly scheduling template. So use these pages to track recurring weekly events, classes, and work schedules, and plan out your ideal week. So they have a couple of different ones here. Oh, they have a bunch, actually. And then there are just some blank notes pages. Things to do, lots of sp space to check off. You've got two full pages of that, which is awesome. And then, oh man, two more. Then you have some stuff for contacts. Pretty simple stuff, good to have on hand. And then another page of contacts. This is huge, website logins. And then I love how they give you the warning of like keeping your planner in a safe location. I do think this is helpful. I know that there are some programs that are like, oh, you can save your password and all that good stuff. For me, I feel better like having it somewhere where I can have access to it, but that's just me. And then we move into the last week of July. So this is the 29th through the 4th. And really, there's just a couple of lines for every day and it's a horizontal layout. And so you can kind of cut this up with a ruler any way you'd like or with some washi. But really, it has all sorts of fun stuff in here. And I think the other thing that I love is if you look at the month, it's gonna color in peach the color, the days that you're on, right? So 29th, 30th, 31st, July are colored in, and then we switch over to August, which is National Planner Day. I feel like there's like these little quotes like, how often do you think when I get to X, then I'll feel good? This month, avoid pushing to happiness to the future and find ways to savor the moment you're in. I love that they just sprinkle in all this like good vibe, personal development stuff. So then we move into August, and this is the monthly view spread, and it says all the flowers of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. Then you have the notes bar, ideas and to-dos, You've got the month before and the month after, which I kind of like that you have both. So you can look back on how it went and where it's going. And then you have a pretty simple calendar here, National Planner Day and Women's Equality Day. And the boxes are pretty regular, decently sized. I think this is a really good sort of amount of space to put in some basic stuff. And you've got the ideas and to-dos, really helpful. And then again, we're moving into the weekly spread. So really this runs from August, the end of July, until July of the next year. So I wonder if we skip all the way to the back, are there any other pages in here? So down here we have um, important dates for next year. And so it has August 2020 to July 2021. Then it obviously has something to order a new planner at the bottom. And then they also have a hardcover for um, 19, uh, 2020. Also, there was a set of stickers in here that I'll have to find, but they were some really fun, cute little stickers that go along with this. So ultimately, this is super cute and super functional, but I really love the personal development twist that they add to all of this. I love the idea of setting goals and creating sort of more of and less of and those types of things. So I'm a huge fan of this one. I'm not going to get around to using it, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway, so look out for that on my Instagram, because um, you could win yourself this Bloom Daily Planner, and then let me know how you're using it. So let's go ahead and quickly jump through to this. So they handed this to me literally on the way out of Planjama, and I just love the wood grain, and it's got that black same coil as the Bloom Daily Planner, and it's, but it's got the black metal hinges, hinges, corners, corners, and then this is called the Blue Ox Daily Planner. I'll leave a link to these down below as well. But again, it's got the 2019 view here with that fun plaid. Ooh, I'm digging that. And then it says this planner belongs to, and then it also has a mission statement. And the font here, everything is blue with an accent color. So I do think this is a more masculine planner. And so again, you've got your goals for 2019. So you got personal, career, school, nice things I will do, new things I will try, new things I would like to learn, new places I want to visit, new books to read, relationships to improve, financial goals. You've got your holidays. Then we got a fun quote from Thomas Jefferson, in matters of style, swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. Oh, I like that one. And then again, we have more of those weekly tracking. We have these weekly scheduling pages, which I think are really fun. And then there's a bunch of them, which is nice. So if something changes, right, this could be your fall, your summer, something like that, you'll be able to sort of swap it out and use a new one. There's plenty of them in here for you. And then this is the pocket pad. Oh, this is... Oh, this probably fits in your pocket. That's fun. So there's a little adjustment there, and I guess they have a sample of what it looks like here. Well, that's kind of cool. So you've got today's date, must do appointments, appointments, emails and calls, good things that happened. Again, I love that they sneak in this positivity stuff. Really fun. Let's go ahead and look at, oh, there's a bunch more. Oh, the calories one, eight glasses a day. Nifty. Cool. And I guess these are meant to like be taken out and taken with you. Very cool. So then we get into your bucket list for the month. So some checklists to get some stuff done, which is awesome. And then January. So you got your monthly view here. You got a fun quote from Henry Ford, which I love. Pretty simple, looks just like the monthly spreads for the Bloom Daily Planner, just a little bit 
you know, more muted in terms of color and in terms of embellishments. There's not a lot of watercolor in there. But pretty simple, you got the month ahead before and the month ahead. This was for January, so we're really in June right now. So I think this is super fun, super helpful, I feel like, for you to organize your life as well. And then, this is what a weekly page looks like, so we'll just kind of open up one. It's almost exactly similar to where we're at in the Bloom Daily Planner. You've got Monday through Wednesday on one side, Thursday through Sunday on the other. Not a whole lot of difference here, just that the fonts are a little bit darker and they match that blue. Nothing crazy, but really, really useful. And so let's go to the end here. So there's a year in review section, right? So there's important dates for next year, which is great. But then at the very back, there's a year in review session, which I kind of really like. How I grew personally, how I improved my health, new relationships I formed, bad habits I broke, that's a big one, an exciting goal I achieved, new skills I learned, the best trips I took, the biggest takeaways from this year. And then of course, on the back cover, you've got a pocket here, which I didn't mention. You have one on the Bloom Daily as well. And then, you know, a nice sturdy cover for next year. So that wraps up the Blue Ox Planner and then the Bloom Daily Planner as well. So I'll zoom out a little bit so we can wrap this up. I think these are super fun, super helpful, and I really am a huge fan. I can't say enough of that like personal development twist, the goal setting, the do more of, the do less of, the bucket list, the, th the year in review, really trying to focus on how you can live your best life and then allow you the flexibility to really shape that in your planner is something that I can't speak highly enough of. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it, and it does help the channel out. If you'd like, if you wanna go ahead and subscribe, you can go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you can get this content right in your newsfeed whenever it's published. I make new videos every Monday and every Thursday. As for social media, you can find me over on Instagram. It'll be this way on the end slate, at a man with the plans. You can find me over on Facebook, that way, at a man with the plans. And the giveaway is gonna be really simple. You have to be following my Instagram, which is Adam with the plans, which I just mentioned. And then I want you to comment down below on which planner you'd like, the Bloom Daily Planner or the Blue Ox Planner. This one is from July, the end. it's August 2019 to July of 2020, so it hasn't started yet, so you have plenty of time to move in. This one is just 2019, it's a yearly planner, so we're about halfway through the year. So just keep that in mind if you want someone to have this, is that they'll be getting probably six months out of it. Just keep that in mind as you go. But go ahead and choose which one you'd like in the comments underneath it, and then I will just select one person at random, and I will go ahead and mail one of each, because I only have these two, out to them. So if, so if you want to win yourself one of these Bloom Daily Planners or the Blue Ox Planner, be on the lookout for that Instagram post that will be coming out right as this video does, and we'll be open for a week afterwards, and I will go ahead and have some rules and all that good stuff in the post itself if you're curious. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. I really love checking out all kinds of new planners. If there are any ones you like want me to take a look at, I'll see if I can scour one off the internet and buy one, something like that. I'd love to check them out. Leave that in the comment box down below. And of course, I'll leave the link to uh, bloomdailyplanners.com and down there as well for you to check out. So until next time, I'll see you later, planner friends. Bye.